Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently west of the Imperial City, just on the shore of Lake Rumare. I've spent about half an hour fishing, killing, um, what are they called? These fish for their scales. I've been using that Vampire's Hunter's Sight. Rumare Slaughterfish, that's the one, that's what they're called. Uh, I've been using the Vampire's Hunter's Vision, Hunter's Sight, whatever it's called, which made finding the fish a hell of a lot easier, and we have just finished slaughtering them. We now have 12. So we should... Yeah, there we go. I've acquired 12 Romari Slaughterfish Scales. I should bring them to Ak Aelwyn Merrow World at the Way Settlement as soon as I can. So let's just check over here for any Nern Root that might be growing. And then we will head back. No, 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 Root. Okay. So that's that chat. I basically did what you just saw, what I was doing there. I'd swim into the lake, find one of the fish, uh, back paddle, back pedal, or back swim until the fish was by the edge of the water, blast it with destruction magic, hack it up with my sword for friggin' ages, it felt like, and then it would eventually die, leaving me with its scales. And so finally, here we are. We can hand in the mission. I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. Oh, you should definitely invest in Bitcoin then. By the nine, you've got the scales. Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore, but I imagine that they would be very valuable to someone like you. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. Okay. Jewel of Romari added, You are lucky there is a guardsman right there, because I was about to murder you just for the sake of it. No, here, let me get that gate for you. Okay, you got it. Yes, enjoy your retirement. I was going to murder you for the thrill of it. So there's a guard right there, so I can't. You're lucky. You live for now. Right, what, what ring did he give us? Whoops. Oh, we also leveled up. I should mention that as well. Our blade's gone up insanely quickly. We leveled up during the um, during the fishing exponent. Uh, what's the word? Fishing exposition. Is that the right word? Expedition. That's the word. During the fishing expedition, we leveled up because our blade went up about five times. So we can go and rest. Uh, and increase our level. Jewel of Rumari. Water breathing and fortify athletics. Oh, that's garbage. No one cares about water breathing. And fortify athletics. No one cares about athletics. We might as well just sell that. Unless we can wear it as well. No, we can't. We can only wear two rings. Yeah, we can only wear two rings at a time. Uh, I'll keep it because it's water breathing. And we may get a point where we need... Um, water breathing on ourselves but i can't see it being at any point soon so i'm just going to i'll leave it in our inventory and next time we go to wayne and priory i'll store it in the wayne and priory chest uh but for now chat i think what i want to do besides resting so let's go to the imperial arena so we can sleep and rest i want to go to that fortress of bandits in the south where we were messing around down here uh the fortress that's down here where we were messing around a while ago, waiting for Armand Kristoff to appear at the waterfront. I'd quite like to clear that out. That seems like a good, fi uh, good fight, a good level for us, a good level, a good uh, ruin for us to explore. Will be a good balanced level of enemies in there. Okay, so three strength. I will take two endurance. I will take and I will take two willpower. No, two intelligence. So we've got more magic. Good, and our vampirism didn't go up at all, so let's continue. Uh, we need to fast travel to the waterfront. Uh, and now we go and kill the fucking bandit. Let's go, yeah? Now, 
Now, it was quite a while ago that we did go out here and attack these bandits, so I'm pretty sure they will have all respawned. On top of that, we didn't actually discover the fortress when we went over there. We didn't get round to the front entrance before we had to come back for our man Christoph. So, therefore, I think all of the bandits will have respawned at this point, so we need to take them out. Put our hunter's sight on since it's night time. And on top of that, uh, we're hunting enemies, so we'll know where they are, yeah, for example. For EG. Oh, he notices me because I'm, I'm illuminated. And this guy's got a steel battle axe, this is gonna suck. Right, uh, steel longsword. No, it's a silver battle axe. Or warhammer, whatever. Silver warhammer. See, we're about at the right level to fight this guy. Right, now that we're not lit up like a fucking Christmas tree, we might actually be able to sneak up on someone. Let's go up here. We can now repair. over here check this route there's some enemies over here before last time oh there's someone over there I see them now Safe on a rock, let's use our destruction magic. Fuck me, this guy's got a lot of health. That's what he's got. Oh. 
now, oops, sorry Skeletor. We're now doing a significant amount of damage to them. We're actually stunning them quite a lot, as you can see. We're staggering them. Because our blade's so high. And that's why their weapons and health is going up so much, because our blade is really high. Our block and heavy armor isn't actually high, that high yet. Oh shit, he's got a friend. He's got a fucking friend. Hide on the rocks. He's got a mate with a massive battle axe. It's another Khajiit. That battle, was, that battle was going well, but I can't handle two Khajiits with massive weapons, dwarven weapons, so... Whoops, missed. See, I can't handle with two of them swinging at me. I can't block. I need to kill one of them with magic. Nice gun, Skeletor. Oh, what's the matter? Where'd his weapon go? Didn't see where his weapon went. That's annoying. Yeah, they hit you when they're below you before you hit them. That looks like it's very heavy, that axe. Am I supposed to be impressed? We can just keep hopping over this wall, actually. So he goes that way, and now we hop over this way. Yeah, the old wall hop over trick. Gets them confuzzled every time. Now he doesn't know what to do. Quick, let's go look for that mace. Don't see it anywhere. No. <laughs> I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. up his back while he's attacking Skeletor. Now you will know pain. I'm stuck on a wall. Pathetic. Back to the castle. There's the mace, no, that's the Khajiit's face. Can we drag him or not? Let me drag him. See, I'm dragging. It's not only drag the body, I can't get the mace. I can see it, it's just here, I think. Well, that might be the Khajiit's arm. But it's not letting me drag the body at all. Is Zed, Zed is drag, right? Where'd the other Khajiit go? Yeah. Yeah, Zed is drag. So it's not letting me drag it for some reason. I think it's stuck in the wall. Let's 
And anyway, the uh, the the mace is gone. Yeah, the mace is gone. Whatever. Wait, did I loot that one? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, I can almost jump across that. Okay. So yeah, this should be a pretty, not easy dungeon to clear, but we can always run outside and jump on a rock if we meet an enemy that's really difficult, really powerful. So we should be able to clear this without too much difficulty. We can just run and hide. Uh, steel bow, fur boots, fur greaves, leather stuff. Yeah. Fort Homestead. Don't see anyone in there. Let's come up here. Have a look around up here. See if there's any more so we know the area is clear. Oh yeah, there's diamonds and stuff up here, isn't there? Or gold nuggets. Anything? Nope. Okay. Let's continue. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I remember this one. I remember, chat. I remember. I'm gonna head to zombie, nice. That might be useful. Probably not though, because it's only a scroll. Be useful as a spell, so you can just keep summoning it, but a scroll, you summon it once and then they just kill it like instantly, and then it's just like, oh. And you can't do it again. Onwards, onwards, into the fortress, into the bowels of the fortress chat. There's something around there, it's probably a rat. Yeah, I think it's a rat. behind the doors. Wait, what am I doing? I just need my bow. Need my bow. Is he behind the doors or is he in front? He's in front of the doors. Okay. He was just leaving. Okay, so this guy has a long sword that's pretty difficult to deal with. Difficult to deal with because she's got so much range. She's got so much reach. Get her, Skeletor. Show her the meaning of pain. Oh, 
Oh wait, Skeletor will keep fighting her in there and then she'll die. Oh no, Skeletor disappeared. Okay, I was going to say she'll die and the sword will disappear. I want the sword. Yeah, she disappeared. Hopefully she'll be dead around here. No, she just despawned. Fuck, that's annoying. It's annoying when it, the Oblivion's pretty glitchy, to be honest. Oh, she's seen me. We've got an archer chat. I know where she may be. She may have gone upstairs. She may be out here. And she may have gone up there. Because that's where they come out for some reason in this. If they come out of the doors, they appear up here for some reason. Yeah, see, like her. Like she just appeared out here. Maybe she spawned up here? No. Fucking hell, this bitch is powerful. Ring around a rosy, a pocket full of posy. Where'd the archer go? Now where's she gone? Oh, she's there. She's arching again. What's the matter, getting she just owned Skeletor. No, she didn't. Okay. Mm. Yes, harang her and harass her Skeletor while she tries to arch me. This ends here. They've got pretty good weapons now, so they're doing a good bit of damage. They've got, like, orcish weapons. But even in heavy armor, without upgrading our speed at all, we can outrun her because she doesn't have any range. Because the dagger's range is really close, really short range. Shit, we almost died there. Just standing there hacking each other up, and I almost died. A knife edge deathmatch chat, that's what it was. That's the best you can do. Apparently. There's enough for you, Dwarven Dagger. Well, shame that that massive sword disappeared. That would have sold quite nicely, but... C'est la vie. It's oblivion for you. Because Skeletor was still in the room. If Skeletor hadn't been in the room, she would have come outside and we would have carried on fighting her outside. But because Skeletor was in the room. Whoops. Because Skeletor was still in the room. What the fuck is going on? I think it's her. I think it's the orc. Can you hear that, chat? That sound of fucking... Yeah, that's her stuck in the wall. That's the Marauder. Yeah, Dwarven Claymore. That's the Marauder who got despawned. She's now, like, stuck in the wall and it's just completely fucking the game up. Weird. Whatever. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, so the Dwarven stuff we want to keep. Silver Warhammer we want to keep. Steel Bow we can probably get rid of. It's only worth 30. Dwarven Boots. Uh, 115 for 12. I don't think that's really worth it. Steel Boots definitely isn't worth it. And if we get rid of the Dwarven Boots, that brings us down to 135. And now we just need to get rid of some of these ingredients. We've got too many ingredients. Eat the pear. Eat that. Eat the bone meal. And now we're under again. Just. I might fast travel back to town. I've got some pretty good gear that's worth selling. All of it. And before we go through these doors, we can just fast travel back to town. 
then fast travel back and everything will still be dead and cushy. Auto save, travel back to the market. It'll be night by the uh, day even by the time we get there. Like that. Go and sell everything at Jen Seems merchandise. Oh shit, it's locked. What time is it? Oh, five minutes. Any repair hammers while we're waiting? Oh, a lockpick. I'll take that. Let's just drop, let's drop a bunch of repair hammers here until we come outside again. Because they're not that valuable. Not yet, anyway. Don't you dare take my repair hammers, I'll fucking murder you. Any new? Nope, how much do you Please, like me now? 88. 88. Let's do business. What are we haggling at? 65. We might be able to do it up to a little bit more. 68. I can't no, afford too to much. 65 it is. 66. You've got to be. Uh -huh, it's 65 it is. We were right at the max chat just as we. Yeah, we were right at the max. Okay. We, uh, we planned that or whatever. We organized You've made that a good bit of. You've made a good yeah, 600 bit of is not enough for how much we're selling that for. Like it's worth like 2.4k. We're going to keep it. We're not going to sell it for fucking 600. Thanks. See, that was worth coming back and selling because now with like a 1.7k away from getting that really good shield. And uh, we're still, we're still able to um, come back in here, and we would have cleared as far as we would have cleared already. Yeah, she's stuck in the wall still. Stupid orc. Look at her go. See if I can drag her out. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, fucking game, honestly. This is such a useful um, ability, this night vision and uh, night vision combined with uh, life vision or whatever you want to call it. Oh, she left, it's a bitch. I was about to unleash an arrow on her. Pressure plate there. Nothing. Oh. Ow. Yeah. Oh. 
Tonk, she got hit by the fucking trap. Perfect. Fuck traps that like that. Get a skeleton. Sorry, skeleton, didn't need to hit you there as well. Blade skill is just going through the roof chat. This is what happens, you just, yeah, once you start getting powerful, then you get more and more powerful, you just get exponentially more powerful, basically. Is that it? There's nothing else here. Whoops. Yeah, there's nothing else here, chat. There's no treasure chest here, is there? Don't see one. It's just her standing there like a wally. Let's just go down there just to make sure. There's no like treasure chests on route or anything. Nope. Okay. Okay, cool. around here person to the right rat coming in now Can't shoot him. There's no one down this way though, so Oh, it's a mage. Oh the battle mage. There don't seem to be any more enemies around so we can chase him a bit. Trap that way. Let's initiate the trap and then see if we can get him to run through it. No, he's running around this way. Shit, he used fire on me. As long as he keeps using frost, he should be okay. It's as if he uses a fireball, that's when we're in trouble. Because of natural resistance to magic from being a Breton. Shit, she's there. Shit. 
shit, she can just keep healing though, that's the problem. Yeah, our natural resistance to magic com uh, as a Breton combined with our uh, resistance to cold, cold as a vampire means she can't really do much to us, but we can't kill her. Kill her. We're never gonna kill her, chat. Because she's just gonna keep healing through. How can we kill her? Oh, let's repair quickly. We need to repair stuff. Look at this rat. Dump off everything we don't want, like the iron stuff make us faster we don't have anything of we don't have any silent spells or anything like that do we someone's a headless zombie shocking touch protect we might have to sneak past chat to be honest but i don't think we can i might be able to kill her with a dagger because we do we attack much more quickly with a dagger Got her just. She didn't heal that much that time. She went for combat, so uh, we managed to kill her just as uh, instead of her healing, she went to kill me for some reason, and that meant that I was able to cut her down. If she kept healing, we wouldn't have been able to do shit. Lucky that she didn't. Battle mages, man. Fucking ridiculous. They're like me with like fucking ridiculous amounts of heavy armor, and. Um, on top of that, magic. It's the best combination in the game, chat. Heavy armor and magic kicks ass. Which way are we going? We can go either way. Let's go this way. Yeah, if you've got heavy armor, it means that physical weapons can't do much to you. If you've got magic, then you do a shit ton of damage. And on top of that, you can resist magic. And you can heal, so. Oh, he just left. He was just around this corner. Actually, it's probably a good thing. Okay. Ran through a trap for us, chat. Uh, steel long sword. <laughs> he ran through a trap and then Skeletor just fucking wrecked him. Good work, Skeletor. Good work, buddy.
I remember this. I remember all this from when I played this last. You go down there and that's where the door is. Yeah. Okay. Or you could go this way and that's where the door is. Let's just go the other way quickly. So I think it's a dead end. There's some treasure chests in there. Let's just check. There's a foot plate there, yep, thought so. No, it's a dead end. No treasure chest. Oh well. Alright, this will be where the big boss is. The big boss, I say. This will be where the warlord is. So there's one over there. There's one at the end. Let's shoot this guy whilst... Should draw just her into this. Oh yeah, that's the warlord. That is a warlord, all right. So you want to keep running around this pillar and then use the trap to kill her. Then we come around this way and then hopefully she comes this way. Doing it. Why is the trap not working? What's the matter? Getting this trap tired? is shit. It's faulty. Keeps hitting me and not her. It's really annoying. It keeps going off when I'm in it, but then she's not. But then when up, you worm. when it goes off, oh. he backs off. It's being really clever. All right, fuck it. Fuck the trap. It's actually causing us more harm than good. She keeps backing off at the right perfect fucking moment. So we have to run through it, and then she runs through it as well. But I can heal. Yeah, we run through it. She is really slow. She's wearing Daedric armor, I think, or Orcish armor. Whereas I can jump through the trap. Yeah, we'll keep doing this till she dies. Oh, she's wearing Orcish armor. Fucking trap is shit. And she stops, she just runs. She's too slow. She comes up too slowly and it stops. It's not like the other trap we used to kill the goblins at the start. Where it just keeps firing when you stand near it. It's um it fires as you go through it and then stops firing. Silver Claymore, Iron Arrow, Orcish, Orcish, Orcish. Lots of Orcish stuff, nice. Okay, let's save it. Let's save it. It's not appearing because I'm over encumbered. Yeah, I'm over encumbered, so it's not appearing. Whatever. Um, 
the quick save in the top left I mean isn't isn't showing up because I'm over encumbered. How much over encumbered? Quite a lot. Okay, so iron claymore, that can fuck off. Silver claymore we want to keep. Dwarven boots and dwarven gauntlets. We are 25 over. We want to keep all the orcish stuff because we want to wear it one day. Orcish shield, actually. What's that? 18 weight for 11 resistance. And the shield is 14 weight for 9 resistance. And it's 95. So we probably want to sell... Yeah, the heaviest thing we've got, actually, is the shield. And we want to equip the orcish... No, we want to equip the orcish shield. So now we're one over. Do we have any food that we can alchematize? No. Okay. Uh, what else can we drop? We need to drop one more thing. I think we drop the boots. They're not worth that much. Because we need to pick up the stuff that's in there as well. We can always come back and pick this stuff up if we need, but... I want all the orcish stuff because it sells and it's a good set of armor. Quick saving. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. There's someone down the end as well. Looks like they're lying down. Either that or it's another doggy. I don't think so. Though. I think it's someone lying down. Yeah, it's someone lying down. can't get them because of the pillar. Oh, I can get them from here. This is a good angle. Slightly too high. Still slightly too high. Really? Fuck's sake. There we go. Oh, it's an archer. I'm glad I took the warlord out first before the archer came in. Before we had to fight the archer. Whoa, fucking thing took out Skeletor. <laughs> you move like a pregnant cow. I should have left this guy alive and left and sold everything. Now all his stuff's gonna be spawned when we pick it up. Now. Change the fucking heal, thank you. He's been delaying my commands for the last like five seconds. Silver bow, iron arrows, and a dwarven curious. Okay, let's put some stuff in one of these chests. Eat potion. Let's put the lower valued stuff so if it despawns, we can always, um, it doesn't matter as much. Whereas it tends to despawn the stuff on the bodies, is what despawns or tends to despawn, not the stuff in the chests. I think I could be wrong, but so that's everything that I killed him, clear, uh, looted him even, put that stuff in the chest. Anything down here? No, nothing around here. Okay, so that's the dungeon done, guys. We got some good loot out of it. We just need to come back for that stuff that I locked in the chest. Should have enough time for that before the end of the episode. 
Just repair everything we need to quickly. I think I'm going to sell all this armor and use the money I've got to buy that really good orcus shield. Or that really good shield. I don't know, it's kind of expensive. And that person was up in the wall as well, fucking hilarious. We may have been the same orc actually. Seven PM. We're gonna have to wait, which means we're gonna turn into a vampire. Uh, we're gonna become more vampiric. Yeah, we have to wait, which means we're gonna become more vampiric, which means we're not gonna be able to fast travel. Which means I'm not gonna be able to pick the stuff up, guys, in this episode. Unfortunately, uh, we need twelve-hour wait. Hope we don't die in the sun. No, but. Or we immediately became more vampiric. In a dream from your childhood, you remember playing hiding games with your young friends on a warm summer afternoon. You hide in your parents' barn, sure you will not be found. Soon the sweet smell of hay is replaced by a darker, sickly smell. You move deeper into the barn, only to stumble on the rotting corpses of your parents, their throats ripped out. You try to scream as your parents rise and pull you into an embrace. Allow me to introduce myself. Oh, okay. My name is Jolring. I come on behalf of my master, Umbakano. That's why we only waited for he an hour. He asked me to deliver this note. I believe it is an invitation to visit him at his manor in the Imperial City. What does Umbakano want my with My master is a collector of alien antiquities. It has come to his attention that you recently sold an item that interests him. Okay, so this is a statue that I we sold. I believe the note will give you all the details. Okay. Samuel Bentian used to be able to pick any lock in the city. He settled down now, though. Interesting. My master, Umbakano, lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He is known across Cyrodiil as a collector of alien antiquities. Mm-hmm. Okay. Farewell. Okay. Just came up and interrupted my wait. All right, what does the letter say? Uh, limitation from Ocano. As my servant no doubt has already explained, I am an avid collector of Aeliad antiquities. As such, a recent sale of a rare Aeliad statue picked, piqued my interest. I am most eager to acquire more of these statues for my collection and will be happy to renew, rem, remunerate you handsomely for your affairs. I would be pleased to welcome you to my home in the Imperial City in order to discuss this matter in more detail at your earliest convenience. I remain most sincerely Umbacano. Okay, drop that immediately. Right, chat, I'm going to have to end the episode here. In between episodes, I will sell everything in our inventory. I'll then try and go back to uh, Fort Homestead to collect the items we dumped and dropped off. Uh, come back here, sell all those, and then I will decide whether or not to buy the shield and spend all the money we have on that shield. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I do hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing, which has been a huge blast. I'm really enjoying this series. It's absolutely great playing Oblivion again on the hardest difficulty. It's even more enjoyable. So yeah, thanks so much for being here to share it with me, guys. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Hopefully I will see you there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sawe till next time.